President Chirac how pleased we in the United States are with France's recent decision to move closer to the military side of NATO, a move that will strengthen our alliance, and a move that is very, very important to the United States. I also welcome the French efforts to build a stronger European defense identity. This will allow our European allies to deal more effectively with future security problems and spread the costs and risks of our leadership for peace while preserving the basic structure of NATO. Welcome to the end of the United States, and I'm pleased to take your questions. Mr. President, it depends on how they define the left. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still a little to the left of the tail of the hunt, I guess. So, you know, I, it depends on how left and right. But I am. Si j'ai bien compris, c'est la traduction qui était exacte sur le fait tout ça. Le président Clinton a indiqué qu'il était à gauche d'Attila. Alors, je voudrais vous dire que je ne me suis pas senti visé. Okay. No, no, no. I, I'm not at all sure I'm to the left of President Trump. admired your political tenacity and I have a suggestion that in France they should begin to call you the comeback kid. J'admire depuis longtemps votre tenacité politique et je suggère en France on commence à vous appeler le comeback kid. Long live the United States, long live France, long live the friendship between France and America. Kenya's most powerful woman in the judiciary reports for duty. You know her as the Deputy Chief Justice. I, I'm a Kenyan, all right, and I'm also a Wanjiku uh, for, for all purposes, uh, all right. Uh, it is with the grace of the God that um, I, have been men I have been somewhere where everybody likes to know me. But otherwise, I think I can even mingle with the crowd. It doesn't make any difference to me. Her family, she says, is the well of undying strength for a woman of many firsts. Her career began in India, where she was born 68 years ago. She accompanied her husband to Kenya in 1973 to begin a life as a mother, a wife, and a lawyer. She became the first woman to set up a private law firm in the country. I had two sons, and especially in 75 when I started, my first son was, um, I think, six months old. All right. Um, and, um, uh, and you know that uh, in our Asian, uh, Asian tradition, we have also a kind of a joint and extended family. So I had also the support of my mother-in-law. Only a sacrifice which I made was my social life. I think what, whenever I had a spare time, I used to be with my family and with my children. And that is the only sacrifice I made uh, for this profession. Otherwise, I think I was helped. I have, um, I have a very loyal and trustworthy maid. She's still with me. Since 1975? Since 1975, her name is Mary. All right, and she's still with me. I, I, keep, I give my house to her. 
So many times, I mean, I feel that she is the mama of the house, not me. We could not meet the mama who has made the life of Kenya's deputy CJ what it is. <laughs> <laughs> because she wants her private life. Private.